And now you're juggling? The when did you start son that? And I used Holy to be really good Spirit. when I worked at a grocery store. Has been gracious. Because I would go in the back and not work and juggle oranges. Juggle oranges, boy. <laughs> now, I hope he's filming this. Pretty salty there, boys. I'm impressed. You want to impress me? You did. Yep. Well, that's what, what can you juggle? I am dressed Babies. to him. Yeah. <laughs> the tears of a Keeping clown. twins alive. That's all <laughs> no thing I can do. The ladies. The ladies. Oh, man. Okay, boy, let me Are get... we going? Not yet. I don't think. Not until those numbers roll up there. Oh. Dropped it. That was a fail. Okay. I've never been claimed to be good at juggling. Ah! <laughs> That's just throwing you a reload. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> hey, we're rolling. Hey, everybody. Now we are. We're hey. back. Right, boys. Happy Thanksgiving week, everyone. And f- to yeah. show just how thankful we are, we have a guest. That's right. Thanksgiving guest. And the she, best it, Thanksgiving cook we know. That's right. That's what I was going to say. Y'all know how much I love to cook. Hey, oh, we, we had to bring the the professional chef of home cooking in for Thanksgiving. Of course. Yep, and she she hadn't cooked sweets in about three months. I just took a little break. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Now i got to make about six pie crusts. Uh-oh. Homemade, of course. I always make homemade pie crusts, which most people don't. It's hard. But you got that ice water and that flour, and you, you, you'll get them. What kind of this pies are you Zero making? This right here, baby. No, uh, I'm talking about for making you pie crust. Yeah, all-purpose flour. All-purpose. Ice water. Yep. yep. Ice water. Butter Crisco. I've that's, watched you. Butter Crisco. That's, that's a key. That's the key, boy. That butter Crisco is what does this to you. That's right. Uh-huh. Right there. Uh-huh. That little part that lays over your belt. That little roll. That's what yeah. that butter Crisco I got, I got, does. I got one of those, too, boy. <laughs> hey, roll. We all got one of those in here. It's because we enjoy that. Well, life. I don't know about uh, si- uh, He might yeah. be getting Oh, yeah. Little. I got one. Oh, look at that thing. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I never thought that would happen. That's right. When I knew Si, he looked like a skeleton when I first met him. A skeleton? Si is resorting back to infancy. He sleeps 16, 17 hours a day. So, and he only wakes man. up when he's mad or hungry. I, I, yeah, man, that's right. A when he needs to be changed or when he's hungry. I don't know hey. how you do that. Hey, a man needs his beauty rest. Yeah, look how pretty he is. <laughs> yep. Well, he's a traveler. Because <laughs> he's traveler. a traveler. <laughs> Traveling man. Oh, uh, so okay. We are here. It's the week of Thanksgiving. What is on the menu for Thanksgiving? Well, you at know, your house? it's at Willie's house. Okay, what's on the we're menu? Too big to fit in my house now. That's a lie. We've put way more people in there. No, We've put a lot of people. Oh, you ought to come to my. You can't get in at Christmas. So I can, but that's it. And look, because he's you know skinnier. Skinnier, right? Well, but I, I mean, I'm serious. We cannot hardly fit in my house for Christmas. Well, everybody keep reproducing. Yeah, they get well, married, then they have eight or seven kids, and yeah, yeah. in six years. And well, then everybody brings seven or eight dogs. Okay. Yeah, and then the neighbor, somebody said, I thought I smelled something good down here, and here they come. Here they come. That's right. Jimmy Red shows up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. just well, They didn't smell him. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, but anyway, so what? What is what? What is your menu for Thanksgiving? Well, Kay? Phil, Phil always does turkey and dressing his way, and then uh, Willie usually does some little version, but he hides it from <laughs> Phil because he he knows that's Phil's. You know, we got that magnum light. It's about this big roaster. Mm-hmm. It's a, it was an expensive pan, man, and it was it's perfect for our dressing. And then Phil does the duck dressing. And, of course, nobody eats one bite of that duck except Phil. Do you eat any side? I usually do, Phil. Yeah, you and Phil. That's the only two that touch the duck. Oh, yeah. The rest of us eat the delicious turkey and uh, whatever else. Like I say, Willie does a couple of things, but he kind of hides it, don't showcase it. Because he knows Phil's kind of the star of the duck and dressing. So. And Gimber does the turkeys. Yep. Yeah, he does. He fries does. the really? turkeys. Fried turkey is the best part of things. Oh, I love that fried turkey. I could take that che- that turkey bone. F- oh, I love it. <laughs> it's <laughs> wonderful. The, the big leg, boys. Yeah. And then I always make, uh, I'm usually the main dessert maker. And what's your signature for Thanksgiving? Uh, sweet potato pies. How many of those you make every Thanksgiving? Oh, six at least. Because Jace gets one. He gets one. He gets a whole one. one. Yeah, yes, a whole one does. to himself. Yep. 
Does he eat the whole thing? Oh, yeah. 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 Like in a day? And if you go to touch it, fork in hand. Right. Like, right. not not okay. He's always bubbly. Um, But yeah. he and eats I the whole thing in a day? Not in a day, but he'll save it. He'll keep it in his truck and eat a piece every morning before he goes duck hunting. Right? That's why exactly what he does. Yeah. And he, he, I have seen him and Willie eat a whole pie in a day. Yeah, just so the other one didn't get it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, That's it. Let's call it what it is. As figure shows. <laughs> I, so sweet potato. There's generally a custard one floating around there. Ooh, yeah. That's bad to blow. I like to make the egg. I get a whole one. What out. about the egg custard? You don't like that, do you, si? Yeah, I hate the whole one. <laughs> <laughs> All of it. It's gone. Oh, it man. Is. I yeah. love it. It's like people just starve to death, you know? And then coconut. Yeah, yeah, Thanksgiving's like the day gluttony is in. Yeah, that's it's right. Like, let's forget that part yeah. of the Bible. Like, forget that yep, verse. Yep. That, well, I mean, at two o'clock, I'm gonna hurt myself. Yeah, it's in. It's one day a year. Yeah, but you, but now you go to like seven Thanksgivings now. You got to go the we night don't. before. Yeah, yeah. Feel lucky if he make one. He I'm is. surprised he even goes to the one at Willie's house. Well, he has to. I bet he's there a minimal amount of time. Why yeah, does he it have surprises to? you how he kind of, he surprised me how he goes in at Willie's. Of course, he goes in, in, in that little living room thing that's Willie's, you know, and he rears back in his chair, Willie's chair and everything, and he's just comfortable as he can be. Of course, the rest of us are all in the other part of the house <laughs> and waiting for the dinner and everything, but Phil just makes himself at home right there in Willie's chair. He said, I'll never sit in that chair till Daddy leaves today. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, that chair is also very close to the exit. <laughs> um, right by the door. Yeah, right, right by the door that leads you back to your truck. So. Thank you. Thank you. That is so true. And Willie is so big that if we don't get there early, we got to walk a mile to get in the house. Oh, they ought to have somebody park you. Well, you just take Dan with you. Take your butler with you. Well, Let him drop, drop you off at the front door. My butler doesn't eat much. Well, that's even better. And that's better. sure not on his diet. If it's not on his recommended healthy eating plan he won't touch it with a 10-foot pole <laughs> yeah i'm all fat yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a well, time. who thinks about that at thanksgiving the one day a year you can just stuff like a glutton mm. just stuff like man a like glutton. deviled eggs and mm. dressing all the, all the and, trimmings yeah mm. cranberry turkey, sauce turkey My, skin you know, a lot of people say why do you eat cranberry sauce well that's a tradition at Thanksgiving. It does taste But all small. the young people don't even know what it is. That's good. I, I know what it is. I just avoid it. Right. I don't no. really know what it is, but I do throw it on some well, dressing. Well, it's it comes from a cranberry. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that much. I just, it's kind of like. And it's cooked down into a sauce. Yeah, I just, I don't know how they got that. I don't know. I don't know how or when or who made that. But I mean, no, but it it goes together with the dressing. Yeah, oh, it's the cranberry good. berries. Okay, it pairs with the sage of the dressing. Yeah, pretty. No, don't over sage it. Though. Oh, I so. guarantee you. No, I, I'm a minimalist on sage. I, I know. I, it's I, not I, a favor I like. We've run a few things with that over sage. Yeah. And we tried to doctor up them first blue wings with extra sage in the dressing, thinking it'd make it palatable, no. but it doesn't. Nope. No. Nope. No. Forget it. Just Tra forget it. Just trash put ducks, chickens right? in it. <laughs> just yeah. put a chicken in it and call it good. Trash ducks. Eh, just not very good in September. Um, yeah. In November, you warm. can eat them. It's but too warm in Louisiana. It is yeah. that. The stagnant water, eating snails. I can't imagine why they don't taste as good, but it's... Uh, snails. Yeah. It's it's fine. But. So I had to get that cu that Yeti cup with a handle. They I don't. Finally, I, they finally gave me one of them. Well, you need to tell them you need another one. I'd like a handle on mine. Please. You have a color preference? No, I could care less about the color. I may have one in my office. He's he probably oh. got one in his office. Well, let's see. What would that cost me? Like a pie or? No. Uh, just well, uh, don't right. say no. Don't uh, say no. Uh, She's offering right. pies. Yeah. Well, I, uh. I, you didn't give me a chance for my rebuttal. <laughs> I mean, I, I think a Swiss steak probably covered. Oh, he loves my uh -oh. Swiss steak. Uh -oh. oh, I thought you were going to say, I'll just give it to you, Miss Kay. You were. No. No. No, we trade here. <laughs> trade. Yeah, we horse we're traders. Deal, right. It's a trader market. Hey, here. Yeah. We, price we price. all horse traders around right. here. This is right. the price is right, but in the pay. If I don't have one in my office, I have one at my house that you 
can certainly have, and I will have it up here for you. Um, you know, or a Swiss I, steak. Well, good because yeah, I love it. I made up that Swiss steak. Oh, praise well, God! <laughs> I saw my yeah. mama cook something like it, but mine is better. I it guarantee is. you, it is. I don't know. Yeah. I ain't never had her mama's, but I can guarantee you hers is better. Yeah. It's my favorite thing she cooks. I don't. I've never had it. It's oh. so good. Oh, no. So yeah. good. Well, we might have to bring that up for a duck call room. Uh. No, hey. no. Oh yeah. No, hey. that hey. goes to my house. Hey, oh. tomato sauce. <laughs> hey, you hey. hit the turkey, turkey. Yeah, yeah. don't bring him back turkey, around. Boy. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you decorated with a turkey. Look, okay, it's so festive. It's Thanksgiving. Gobble. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> <laughs> so I can do that better than me. Oh, uh, no. So I get out there and dance with them. Y'all saw that episode that's of Duck that's Dynasty. That's boy, hey. but. I missed it. I got to watch that. <laughs> you never he saw that one? <laughs> he missed it, boys. Uh, well, I'm sure we can get it, can't we? Ah, uh, we can find it online, okay? It's yeah. on YouTube somewhere. Right. Yep. YouTube, boy. All right, well, let's take our first break. We'll be back right after this. Hey, I'm wearing Tommy John underwear. That's the boy. best part of Thanksgiving, hey. unbutton your pants and just being in comfortable draws. Yeah, or pajamas or loungewear, whatever. They make it all now. Hey, Look. All of it, baby, men yeah. and women. And you got to stay comfortable. All right, there you go. That's just the, the name of the game is comfort these that's days. It. I mean, that's all it is because you probably just ate a lot. And now you're going to relax a lot. That's yeah, it. baby. That's yeah. It. It's the exact opposite of like if you were to go shopping on Black Friday because that's a gar. But when you give your loved ones Tommy John, they're that much more comfortable so they can do everything better. Who wouldn't want their loved ones to do better? Just think, you can help them out by giving them drawers. That's comfortable. It's a great gift. It, it is a great gift. I don't care what anybody says. Socks and underwear make fantastic Christmas gifts. I put it on my list every year. Amen. And, and thank goodness Brittany knows to get me Tommy John. Shop Tommy John's before Black Friday sell now and give the gift of comfort to everyone on your list, including yourself, with brand new Tommy John underwear, loungewear, and pajamas. With over 18 million pairs sold, giving Tommy John has become a holiday tradition. 97% of women and men love getting a gift from Tommy John. I'm one of those 97%. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm whatever. That, that's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. Well, they got size. They got fanatics, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Look, we love wearing Tommy John. Size wearing it right now. I'm wearing it right now. Johnny D's wearing it right now. Amen and amen. This podcast wouldn't be no good if we were uncomfortable. Amen and but, amen. But we're comfortable. I'm Celebrate softness season with the gift of Tommy John underwear, loungewear, and pajamas. Every gift is backed by Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear or it's free guarantee. Si loves them and so will you. Shop Tommy John's before Black Friday sale going on right now and get 30% off site-wide at TommyJohn.com slash duck. 30% off everything now at TommyJohn.com slash duck. TommyJohn.com slash duck. See site for details. I'm trying but to find somebody you. sent y'all those little ducks. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It was oh, yeah. a whole package. Package deal. Stress. Got- veteran... Stress relievers. That's right. Stress relievers. You need more. Do you have a lot of stress in your life, Kay? Then we got these. No, I don't. Oh, I know those are cute. You don't have a lot of stress. Not not right now, man. I do it other times, but this is two days in a row for Kay at the office. She was up here yesterday, getting her workout on. Yeah, well, somebody <laughs> something's got to keep me alive. <laughs> they know that song, so I, you could sing it. Staying alive, staying alive. Oh. Wow. Uh, 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 there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you could do. You know, it. Si loves the BGs. Hey, hey, well, no, that's why I have hey. physical therapy. I can't get I can't get high like they get high. Oh, you can. Oh no. I give my uh, my guy that teaches me physical therapy trains me. He's young, and they just had a baby and everything. But I give him just you know good advice from a grandmother. Way I I feel like he's another grandson I inherited, but uh you know I talk to him and help him and he helps me. Yeah, he come in at me complaining about that one baby. Oh uh, boy! I said, buddy, you think that's rough? Uh, uh, yeah, Try to. Hey, get to you house. get you another one. Yeah, come to my house. Get you a pair of. Have you been giving Martin advice? No, he hadn't asked me, but I will. But I don't know anything. I didn't know about I ever had to babies. ask a Robertson for advice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought those opinions were freely given. She's a caraway, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Ain Ann was here yesterday too. I love Ain Ann. Your sister's a delight. She's out in the lobby. Is she really? We ought to bring Ain Ann in. She can have my seat. <laughs> I, I love Ain Ann. She is. She's she is cool. quality people. Didn't she used and to she... live across the street from Mac and Mary? 
No, Aunt oh. Ann's never lived here. Texas. She's a yeah, Texas. Texas. Yeah, she's a Texas girl. Because I had an Aunt Ann when I was a kid, and I can't remember who it was. But it was your well, sister. It wasn't not. my Aunt Ann, my sister. Uh, but she lives in Tyler, Texas. Aunt Ann is kind of like. She's a Texan now. She's a Texan, but she kind of like the McRib and Christmas tree cakes. When Aunt Ann oh. starts showing up, you know it's duck season. I mean, that's just what it is. Like, there's certain little things you can mark off when you, know, you start seeing Aunt Ann hang around. That's because Kay needs some company because ain't none of us around no more. That's right. Kay got to have somebody stay up till 10, 30, 11 talking to all night long. 12, 12 o'clock, thank you. Woo! Did y'all stay up till midnight oh, last night? I, hey. She don't. I do. What are y'all, a couple just girls gossiping? Not out. No, I'm, I'm watching a little TV. Hey, not kidding. out. Kay, if you're looking for something to do at midnight, I got a couch for you. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> get up with them babies. You, you know, don't have to get up if you're staying up till midnight. You just stay up with them. That's... Look, here's what I, when I was, Alan was a baby, and I was so stupid because I was just, you know, young, wasn't I, si? About 17. And, and I got up to get it to warm them bottle. We did not have that, what y'all have now. We had glass bottles only, nothing else. And you had to put the milk in it and just warm it up, you know, on the stove. Like, we didn't have a microwave, so you just put it on there, put a little water and boil it and got the bottle warm. You That's know? pretty much what I do, except they're not glass. Yeah, well, these yeah. were glass. Yeah. And I, me and Alan were sitting, I was holding him doing that, and I just fell asleep. And the next thing I heard, this loud blow-up noise where that, bo- that bottle popped and went to the ceiling. Oh, it done been in there too long. You reckon? Got too yeah. hot. You reckon? Got too hot. I'm just glad the loud noise wasn't Al's head bouncing off the ground, even though it would explain a lot. But Phil said, what was that explosion? I said, well, if you want to stay up with him, feed this bottle. No, no, I'm going to bed. <laughs> there you go. He was so much not help, not good help. <laughs> He's just in the I way. I said, we're teenagers with a baby. You got to help me some. No, I don't know anything about babies. I'm going duck hunting. I got to get my rest. <laughs> There you go. Father of the year. Yeah. I said, there you go. I don't yeah, know. Alan said it was a miracle I'm still alive. Bless his heart. Oh. Well, he's thriving now. Poor so. sweet Al. Yep. He hadn't gone without any food at oh. night. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sorry. That was oh. just, it was well, just sitting boy, there. It's, it's back on it. Well, oh. I'll tell you what. He didn't get fat except on good food. What? Now, I know people that eat crap food and... And then they, I mean, at least every roll and pound I got come from delicious good food. Amen. I'll let you, boy. Yeah. I'll let you, boy. You dad but I see some people what they You're eat. responsible for about 30 of this. So. Yeah, I am. I mean. I'm mo- and not just you. <laughs> a lot more people. Yeah. Everything house. Goblin's shedding right now, you did to him. So. Yep. <laughs> I'll watch that 50 pounds come on. <laughs> you gave Goblin diabetes. What? Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. No, right. well, there you go. Well, it's just so good. Who could not eat it? I mean, it's really hard. I'm with you. Look, I that I said sorry. I never realized until we moved up here how much work Kay did in a day for us. Oh. Like just the workers. I never, you never, because it was just lunchtime. You didn't think nothing of it. You didn't think nothing of what she was in there cooking for you the whole time. You never, because you was working. And, and I she didn't call even out have there on a the lot of money. I didn't no. have a lot of money. I had to do it on a budget. Yeah. And you fed us well. I did. Yeah. And fed myself hey, well, too. The golden years of the, Duck Command. Hey, the mm-hmm. pay wasn't, wasn't that much, but hey, the benefits were excellent. The right. lunch was solid, I know. Gang. Si, si Phil tells that story about when he called you, you know, oh, yeah. to come work for him. Yeah, I asked him, I said, what are you going to pay me? He said, pay ain't much, but he said, the benefits are big time. <laughs> he said, number first one, the first rule of benefits is you got to hunt every day. I said, I, I like that. Free lunch. That's right. And then you get a big meal at lunch every day. I said, okay, that's that's good. That's good. You know, and then with me, I actually get a nap every day. So, hey, that was good. Phil said, when can you be but, here in about three days or so? I mean, like moving. It and Phil's like, can you be here in about three days? I said, I'll be there Monday. And then this was Friday or Saturday. Maybe yeah. Saturday. Yes, yeah, Saturday. I mean, you wouldn't believe that he was ever poor. In fact, I know it because I was there, and so I know that. He, how were you, like, 10 when I started coming in, 10 or 11 or something like that? Yep. And, uh, Young love. Oh, yeah. And, I, and see, I love the big family. 
because I only was like, my sister and I are so far apart, I was kind of like an only child. You and Ain't Ann? Yeah. How far apart They called me the little princess. And the bad part was that she had to really work at our store all the time. And guess what I did at our store all the time? I oh. entertained the old people. I had a place over there by the Peter. So do you have a K now in your life? Who entertains you? A lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, oh. How did you entertain the old people at the grocery store? Oh, she did so little dances. Oh. Let me talk. Oh. Okay. <laughs> there was a, we had the biggest grocery store. The middle of it was the grocery store. Si, you remember it, don't you? The grocery store, and then on oh. the right was the hardware with the feed and all that. And on the left was, I think they called it mercantile or something, where we had bolts of material, thread, and all that, and like presents you could give for a wedding shower and all that. We had that part. So right when you're going from the grocery to over there, there was a rigged space where you had that old-timey heater, you know, where you put your hands up there, mm -hmm. and that easily burn up a child if they got too close. But I'm telling you, <laughs> we sat Just there. burn up a child. <laughs> we had some chairs around, and all the old people would come sit right, in the chairs. Right and now say, heater. And they'd say, uh, Kay, Katie, or whatever they call me, they'd say, come tell us some stories. And I'm telling you, I, I told more made-up stories uh, yeah, they usually had animals in them, but they didn't care what I told. I just entertained them, and that was my job. And then my sister had to, like, work her butt off. She had to actually cut meat and cheese and sell stuff and work as a cashier. I didn't even know how to work the cashier thing. <laughs> and, I didn't uh, know Ann was a, was a clerk and a butcher. Oh, yeah, she worked hard. Oh, okay. She worked her tail off. And, and you then told she stories. Sat, and right. she sat over there entertaining the old people. <laughs> Maybe you are, Robertson. <laughs> well. <laughs> hey, some stuff is starting to make sense. What's that? Ann <laughs> sound real familiar. Yeah. <laughs> sit on your butt and tell stories and everybody yeah. else work. Hmm. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I, I've that, always that didn't rub off on any of her children. Mm. Hey, beginning Imagine to, if I, you'd have known Cy back then. Right, Y'all could have had a Punch a, and Judy show. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm beginning to see a pattern here. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you something. I'm kind of allergic to real hard physical work. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> hey, man, now, that, brother. I, can, I can entertain. I'm right there with you, Kay. <laughs> I, I, I can entertain, and so can you, Cy. You entertain all oh, the time. Y'all are my heroes. Oh, oh hey. praise God. No wonder Phil kept y'all around. Hey. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. <laughs> He's so serious. He needed some lightheartedness oh, no. in his life. Yeah. Good yeah. grief. Talk about opposites attract. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, my mother said, why do you have to fall in love with a poor boy like that? And I said, Aggressive. Uh, well, I've heard, you can't I, help who you fall in love with. I've heard that story before. Don't worry. Corey's parents yeah. said the same thing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it went on down to the kids. Yeah, why does this keep repeating in this family? This is weird. <laughs> well, you can't help who you fall in love with. And besides... I guess there needed to be a time in my life uh, when I, knew, I learned how to be poor. It wasn't fun, but it was. We made it. There you go. You made it. Yeah, I went from. And speaking of I, making it, you've made it fifty years in this company. Hey, that's, that's wild. Hey, this is the fiftieth year. Are you kidding? No, and no. I, I don't know how that is because you're only fifty-one. That's right. That's true. Hey. That's wild. <laughs> no, I'm not ashamed of my age. <laughs> 74. Uh oh, 74. 74. How old are you, sir? 74. Well, good night. I thought you were younger than that. Nope. We're we're right there together, Kay. Well, you just seemed We've only young. known each other 74 years. I guess I was more mature at your, <laughs> when uh, I was your well, age. I, I'm just now getting to maturity. <laughs> He's peaking. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just now getting there. With Thanksgiving right around the corner, look. We all gonna be eating a lot of meat. Hey, Thanksgiving. That's it, that's it. Won't you be happy to know where your meat come from if it come from the American farmer? Amen and amen. Hey, there's no better way to be more thankful than than supporting American farming, and that's what our folks over at Moink love to do. Moink delivers grass fed and grass finished beef and lamb, pastured pork and chicken, and sustainable wild caught Alaskan salmon straight to your door. Moink farmers farm like our grandparents did, and as a result, Moink meat tastes like it should because the family farm does it better. Look. I'm just telling you right now, 
our house, they're going to be moink meat and wild game served on Thanksgiving. That's that. How, I mean, how can you do anything better? The moink difference is a difference you can taste and you can feel good knowing you're helping family farms stay financially independent, too. You can juice the meat delivered in every box like ribeyes, chicken breast, pork chops, salmon fillets, much more. And you can cancel any time. Moink is helping save rural America. We love it. We know you will, too. You can join the moink movement today. Shark Tank host Kevin O'Leary called Moink's Bacon the best bacon he's ever tasted. And Ring Doorbell founder Jamie Siminoff jumped at the chance to invest in Moink. And they guarantee, oink, oink. You just got Moink! And you're happy. You're, 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 you're very happy about it. And we know you will, too. Right now, you can help keep American farming going by signing up at moinkbox.com slash duck right now. And listeners of this show get free filet mignon in every order for a year. What are you talking about? Who doesn't like free filet mignon? Who doesn't like <laughs> paid for filet mignon? That's Free's a, even better. That's exactly right. That's the only way filet mignon gets better. That's one year of the best filet mignon you'll ever taste, but it's for a limited time only. Spelled M-O-I-N-K box dot com slash duck. That's moinkbox.com slash duck. About a month, maybe two months ago, a bunch of stuff showed up at this office. From the, my old store. I got a question for you. What are you going to do with it? Yeah, that's exactly right. That's my question for that, you, not for me. That's question. I'm, well, store, okay. I'm storing it for you. I just want to know what we're supposed to do well, with it. Well, your boss. <laughs> yep. Uh, I asked him. Could I do that? Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah. Okay. And I said, no, I don't know what we're going to do with it. And he said, well, I'll find something. I was just wondering if you had developed a plan yet. That's all I was curious We should about. open a store. Hey, Nan really wants to see that stuff, though. So next time I'm up here, I'll show well, it to her. All she got to do is walk around. Well, it's, it, it's I've got there. it stacked Aren't everywhere. you both here right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Maybe we could look at it after we're quit through working. I've got it put. Everywhere it'll fit for you. So it, uh, well, uh -oh. you know, just think how many years the, that's the a lot of years. The are coming to Duck Commander. <laughs> yeah, the reason I asked that question is because Corey <laughs> come up here yesterday asking what that stuff was. Apparently, Willie went rogue on that move and yeah. didn't tell her. Well, about it. mom, uh -oh. when your mom asks you to do something, there's one answer. Yes, and then you explain it to your wife later, or. Yeah. Or hope, you just avoid. Hope and, she doesn't notice for a few months. Yeah, or you right. just avoid, and then I have to explain to your wife what it is. And I really don't know. So, <laughs> you know, I it's, was just flying by history. the seat of my pants. <laughs> it's history. That's what it is. It's history. What was the it's name of that store? Caraway's. Caraway. That's a good name. And that's either. my maiden name. Caraway's, Caraway's Grocery Store, yeah. Mercantile, Laundry Mat, that's and right. Auto Service, apparently. Okay. And and auto, a little bit of no everything. No auto and if you no need laundry. A, if you need to hear a story, we got a kid in the corner that'll tell you. That's <laughs> right. And hey, that's right. Hey, Put it a was nickel perfect. in a jar. I, every day I walk from school to Caraway's Grocery. I loved it. And then what's real funny, though, is I had I didn't even like candy, which I could get all I wanted. But I did. I was kind of. I loved ice cream sandwiches and stuff like that. Ice cream. Amen. And then we had a big old thing this big that had those big cookies like that big in them. I don't even know what kind they were, but you just reached in and got a cookie, and I did like those. Mm. And but all my friends would just be stuffing their pocket with the candy. <laughs> <laughs> Grocery stores were so cool back then. Yeah. Oh, they really were. Why don't you start a new one? As much as you love grocery you stores, got we all got the all the stuff. We got all the stuff. I don't. I told you, I'm allergic to real physical labor. Well, I didn't say you had to do anything. I just said open it. You just sit in a chair, <laughs> point and tell other. You got enough. Uh, you got enough grandkids, great grandkids, like, a, and all the lot to keep that thing employed. Hey, put a heater in it and break a bunch of chairs, and hey, go back to yeah, go back to entertaining people. That's Show that, up every that, day that. from eleven to one and just entertain <laughs> people. Well, I, <laughs> story time I, I with could do that, and mm -hmm. I could make up as many stories as I did. Back back then right. and you Bring could probably con sign to showing up from like two to three to take it. the afternoon hey, shift go, boy, hey. telling yeah. people stuff hey get the shetland pony up here i just yeah you remembered my shetland oh, pony. No, i remember his name was tony the shetland pony <laughs> tony the shetland pony hey that's a rhyme boys if you didn't catch it you had a pony yeah, yeah. well you, and she was a cowgirl. He, you guess, did have money didn't oh, no. you? she was a cowgirl and guess and, what it, what I, color he was pinto like you know Spotted, spotted. Oh, like a pinto bean. Pinto bean, boys. Yeah, yeah. spotted. Pony, the Shetland pony. Pony, the Shetland pony. And look, hey. I would get on him. And I wish we had that picture. It was cool. Hey, hey, you got a, did you get it for Christmas? A pony? It, it just, yeah, 
I guess it was. I can't remember exactly me getting it because I was young. But I do know we tied it up to a, to a little tree, a little bush thing, and he would eat. And I would I was Annie Oakley, and I would run. And I did learn how to jump on the pony from the back. Can you believe I could ever do that? And on the side, and I'd go all around the pony. I'd do everything, and I'd just be doing this. But I wasn't moving. He was just eating. <laughs> but I replayed that I was Annie Oakley, <laughs> and I did all that. And that's the honest truth. Every she, bit of she it. She said I was moving, but he wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Annie Oakley, the sharpshooter. <laughs> I didn't use a gun. I only you had a pony. <laughs> but I was pretending in my, I, the, I probably oh, had a boy. stick. The stick was a gun or something. Oh, praise God for that one line. I was moving, <laughs> but he wasn't. He was just eating. We have that like, picture oh. in the tour of her yeah. on the pony. Mm-hmm. Thank Hunter. you. Put hey, that. I, I've got proof. Yeah. Put that on the YouTube video. Put yeah. put the picture of Miss yeah. Kay on yeah, we'll, her pony. I can't find it on the internet. Uh-huh. So. No, we'll go take a picture of it up on the wall. Well, the see, floor. my grandpa used to plow, and Tony plowed, and I wrote Tony it the while pony? he plowed. He plowed. And I was on Tony, and Tony went up and down the rows. It was fun. That's amazing. He was moving, but I wasn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man. I'm wow. telling you, talking about the I'm old days. I'm not going to recover from that. <laughs> Tom, speaking about the old days, you so you remember, you used to wave at everybody, too. We'd set my grandma's swings out there, and everybody went, went by. They waved at you, and you waved at them. Every time. That was back when the country was friendly. Yeah. I'm serious. We didn't even there. know half the people. Yeah. We just waved. Well, there was only 20 people in Vivian. It wasn't Vivian. It was Ida. Ida. Ida, Ida didn't have about four. That's a lot. <laughs> they were all caraways. That's right. All no, caraways. That's right. No, that's not even <laughs> where we came from originally. We came from uh, a place called Hall Summit Oringo or somewhere like that. I've been there once. Something. But my gra- my grandpa on my mother's side, now he was like of ca- of uh, French descent, and he was like Cajun talking, Pappy. Something happened when Ida was in the news a while back. It was a hurricane. Now, it's, it's <laughs> no, no, the top sorry. of Louisiana. No, no, oh, it, no, no. Ida Louisiana was in the no, in I, the news the other day. I'm serious. It was something bad. Well, si, why didn't you tell me that? You know. Well, hey, I'm, I'm serious. It happened here a couple of weeks ago. It was in the news. And it was something I bad. I think it was up. Ada, not Ida. No, Ida. A- I-D-A. What? Ida well, well, I don't know why I didn't know about it. Yeah, but we had people, the biggest no. store that ever was in Ida. Tinker used to live there. That was my best buddy in high school. He's, I know. He's my cousin. Yeah, my fr- yeah. He passed away, though. Well, see, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Only 53. And he he hadn't been married no time. He just... I thought he was going to be oh, an Oh, no, old he actor. married a Russian woman, too, didn't he? A Russian opera singer. Yeah. Sure did. Hey, sure did. A man named Tinker married yeah. a Russian. Time Yeah. Time no, no. <laughs> uh, we got to take a break. Yeah, we got to take a break. We got to go back to this. I got to reset because I'm right. still stuck on I was moving, but he wasn't. He was just eating. Yeah, he Let's was take just a eating. break. Tinker. And we're going to come back and talk about Tinker. That's right. He was tied to I don't know how it took us 190-something episodes (laughs) to get to Tinker, but Tinker, you're in. All right, we'll be back. It's the best time of the year. It's the fall. Look, it's the time you can actually sit outside in Louisiana. It's fall, y'all. And and you ain't got to worry about mosquitoes and all that. But at night, it will get a little chilly and when... When you're out there cozy up next to the fire where you want to, sometimes you need a blanket. Watch this. Uh oh. That's how good they made this case. Right. I didn't. Yeah. Boy, Boom. But you hold it. You need a blanket that can hold up to the elements of the outside. Look, I got mine right now keeping Kay's seat warm till she gets back. And uh, the Rumpel blankets are fantastic. We've used them for probably a year or so now. I mean, it's it's been a while. They're still as fresh as they ever were. They don't tear. They don't. They're water resistant. They're they're made out of the same stuff tents are made out of. So like, I mean, you just think about it. A tent, you ain't getting wet inside there. You stay warm. Same deal with a blanket. It's fantastic. The original puffy is Rumpel's number one bestseller with over a million sold. A million people can't be wrong. That's right. Right. I mean, a million of them got to be onto something. But all of Rumpel's products are weather resistant, durable, and most importantly, warm. 
We love our rumple blankets. They are legit. They're made from discarded plastic bottles and the extra durable 100% recycled 30D polyester ripstop prevents scratches, snags, and tears. And with over 135 prints, there is a rumple that is perfect for indoors, outdoors, and for every person. These rumple blankets are built to endure the elements. They repel spills, sand, stains, odor, you name it. They get rid of it no matter where you bring it. They recycle over 5 million plastic water bottles a year. And every year, Rumpel offsets the entire carbon footprint of their company. And they're a certified B corporation, which means they're actually legally required to consider the impact of their decisions on workers, customers, suppliers, the community, and the environment. Johnny D is out. He is laying down. He's, He's gone. gone. Rumpel blankets are really your perfect companion for fall or anytime outdoor adventures. Now through November the 28th, save 25% off at rumple.com and use code duck15 to get an extra gift with your purchase. Visit rumple.com slash duck call to shop now. That's R-U-M-P-L dot com. And the code is duck15 to save 25% today. All right. Martin. So Tinker. We called him Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. No, I did not that, call well, him hey. Oh, Lord. But first, time out. Oh. Is that Tony you, the Pony? That's, that's Tony the Pony. Him. Is that I, you? That's uh, me and my grandpa. Look at that's Annie it. Oakley. That's it, boy. That's Annie that's Oakley. Right. Look at that. Do I have on chaps or something? I don't know. Hey, you got the whole hey, outfit. Hey, cowgirl, oh, let me tell you something. Hey, you got the whole outfit. That's me. That is unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> I told you. And look, I wore that hat to church. My mom would be so mad. And then she made me hang it out there with the men's hats. I can see why you were the entertainment at the store. <laughs> hey, look at that outfit. It's making more sense now. Yeah. Look at that outfit. And look at that little grin. That Hold little on. grin spells yeah. nothing but mischievousness. That's it. That's it. I know. I, lo- I can't believe y'all have that picture. <laughs> Your parents were trying to figure out how they kept losing money. Kay just kept That's slinging it. candy uh, in her friend's pockets. That's, That's what that little grin showed. But yeah. there's Tony. Tony. I'm the- so glad. Uh, he ain't uh, moving, but she is. Look. Tony the Pinto Pony. Yeah. And then yeah. whenever she met Phil and started dating, she would put a bunch of stuff from the store in the car. I figured out several Robert. thousand dollars worth of food right. I brought to y'all's can, family. Can, Thank you. Can we go back to that pony picture real quick? Oh, yes, I just sir. need to I need yes, to look sir. at something. I'm trying to do the math of how Kay jumped from the ground onto that pony. That's right. Well, actually, I <laughs> it didn't ain't You were a little older, well, weren't you? I, I, yeah, that I was older, working. and I had a little bitty thing I jumped on for Who's that behind? Oh, oh, you had your little cheater step? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, okay. It, was like okay. A, it was like a stump. Well, who's that okay. behind you in the photo? That's her granddad. Papa. Oh, Papa. That's Papa. Not to be confused with Pappy, who was a Cajun. He or- was the other side. He was my mama's daddy. Papa was my daddy's daddy. And um, he was the one that loved to garden and do all that stuff. Hey, let's face it, Kay. You was four rotten. Rotten. Okay. You had a pony. You had yeah. nice but clothes. The only reason yeah, I didn't. Had a a cousin store. named Tinker. <laughs> yeah, you had a store. But look, my, I stayed half my life mostly with my grandmother, and I Damn, never nanny. in my life heard her nanny. Yeah, I never heard her yell in my life. She was just. Gentle. She and was big. the sweetest grandmother ever. That's right. She looked kind of like Aunt B on uh, yeah. Andy. Nan Cooper. looks a lot like her. Yeah. Nan does. Yeah, Nan does. You're yeah. right. She sure. With does. the hair. She's yeah. a hoot. Nanny was a hoot. Well, what I don't understand is, is Phil wants me to keep my hair dark and look younger. <laughs> but what do I have to say about him? What? I mean, he can just look know. any way he wants. We don't even want well, to here's go what, Here's he what I'll tell you, Kay. Here's what I'll tell you. He's not here. You can say whatever you like. <laughs> what would you like to say about him? <laughs> well, I love him. <laughs> I think he married me for my money. Hey, we did, Kay. <laughs> we did. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you were going to come along with the deal either. I talked him into it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> package deal. Well, that's right, package well if deal I work. got him, I had to right. get you, so there wasn't no. They had a family meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I got an idea, Phil. You know, then, okay. Hey. So I said, I see that ship right now. It's oh, called no, a caraway, boys. Yeah. Here's what I remember. Caraway mercantile. Yeah, I boys. told him. I said, so hey. I, 
This ship is already already landed and unloading, boy, every time she comes here. Well, you know why we'd go out. Remember when we sang bait out of the out of the creeks or whatever they were out there? You remember that? And we got all the things for it filled to put on the trot line that goes in the river. Well, he made me and you like I had to walk this way. You and he was up there, and I told him one day. I said, I think I felt a snake or something. You're Annie Oakley. You know what he said? He said, oh, he don't said worry that about thing won't hurt you. Yeah, I don't said, worry about How it. do you know? You didn't even see what it was. And he said, Well, you didn't get bit, so just keep holding That's on. You inside. Keep Hold signing. On. Keep signing. <laughs> yeah. I said, I don't know if I signed up for the right program here. Her daddy had a place on Black Bow, okay? It had boats and everything. Yep. Cedar, yeah. Cinder Block. Yeah. So we'd go fishing and. and Kay and, and Phil would be in, in a P-Row. And who was paddling? And, and Kay was the motor. <laughs> no motor, paddle. And that's why she's now allergic to no, no. hard physical no, labor. No, 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 I'm serious, because hey, it was so funny. You know, Kay's in the back of the boat paddling, and Phil says, oh, get me close to that cypress field where you know, he's bass fishing. Now, we went through some low limbs, and I just fell out of the boat. <clears throat> and Phil said, quit rocking that boat. And I said, I'm in the water. Get me out of here. <laughs> you fell in. He said, quit rocking the boat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We well, rocking the boat. Phil done lost his lower <laughs> unit. Didn't even know. <laughs> now, that's a true story. If uh, I ever told one. Oh, oh happy Thanksgiving, everybody. So, I just oh. have, since we're up against it. Tinker. On our time. Tinker. How did he meet the Russian opera singer? <laughs> Please a tell me how, how a man named the Tinker past- from Ida, Louisiana, meets a Russian oh. opera singer. Okay, he had a job that required him to work, and I don't know what kind it was, but you he had to go to other cert. No, other no, countries. he went to other countries. So uh, like oil or pipeline or something. I, don't know. Or? I would it say may it have been, be in that yeah, line. Probably. Yeah, I'd say it'd be in that line. I wish I had the details, but uh, his sister is still alive, my uh, cousin, and I visit her and I'd and stay with her whenever me and Ann go over there to visit. But see, we thought he's just we called him old bachelor and all that. And he went to Russia and met this girl opera singer. And at 53, he gets that's married. It. Good looking thing, too, I'm talking about. Yeah. And she still lives in Ida. Oh, okay. The Russian? Yep. Yeah. There's a Russian op Because Ida's population is 214. So one of those. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's a Russian, Russian opera lady. singer. Opera singer. Right. Well, here. Seems like not, a magical place. But see, you're only 30 miles from Shreveport this way, Texas, there. So you're not far from something. That's magical. Yeah. You know Monroe, West Monroe, small when you say you need 30 minutes from something talking about Shreveport and Texarkana. <laughs> That's just... <laughs> oh, no. Know, I, yeah, you know you, you spent a long time on a riverbank then. Oh, if you blink, <laughs> you, you missed Ida. Yeah. yeah. But one there's a Russian... Red, we were so proud of that one red light. You know what, son? <laughs> one red light. We finally got it. Uh, and then, see, we, we used to have a train come through there. But we lost the train. It don't come through there no more. The train is out, boys. Yep. Oh, man. Well. <laughs> wow. Well, happy well, Thanksgiving, I, everyone. I'm so thankful for you, Kay. I'm oh, thankful for this Praise be. Wow. Well, you know, see, this is what I did as a child, entertain those old people. And I just sat there and shot the bull all the time. And they loved it. <laughs> they were so lonely. Hey, I'd buy meat and cheese if you had it right now. Right. So, I would I'd, I'd give you, know, you everything. Wilson Wendy's outside. Uh, yeah, I right, go give me a hot dog off the roaster. Uh, that's fine. That's it, boy. I generally shy away from gas station and grocery store hot dogs, but you know what, you got me. But I so. we were the biggest store in town, don't you remember? <laughs> well, haven't you heard? That's right. I. I I'm Google gonna it, I'm gonna guess that you were the only store in town, but being the biggest is cool too. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we had a library. What? The we store? Had a little yeah. library. The store the, or the town? No, the town had oh. a little library. Oh, I thought the store also was a library. That's what no. I'm saying. It's like I beer, bait, you. ammo. Like I well, mean, they got hardware. They got groceries. They got women's stuff and men's stuff. It was there. a hangout. Do they have yeah. Dapper Dan? I don't think so. Did y'all sell? Oh, I bet. Oh no, I, they probably had it. Did y'all sell beer? Two weeks. No alcohol. No, no alcohol. alcohol. I didn't know. I was dry just curious. County. Dry my, County. My dry County. Dry County. My daddy yep. found some somewhere because he drank one or two every day. Every once in a while, somebody just brings some shine in. Yeah. Everybody have a party then. 
No, what killed us was was our eggnog. <laughs> I told you, shine. Oh, no, boy. I tell you, they mixed it up because they put three fourths of the bottle of Old Crow, uh -oh. and then with the with the eggnog, and something boy. was real wrong with that. Boy, I hope Old Crow was better then than it is now. Oof. <laughs> well, I tell you, that ain't eggnog. That's whiskey. Yeah, that's just a whiskey. No, but drink. it has a milk base because that was the eggnog. And I, I tried to drink something, and that's where the Russian comes. I in. I thought oh, I was oh, going to choke hey. to death. Hey. Yeah. Man, man, what happened, boys? The Russians move in and brought the vodka. <laughs> that was way before the Russians. Uh, well, hey, there you go. <laughs> this is the most confusing show I've hey, ever Hey, if y'all are driving and listening to this, I understand if you had to pull over. Because, wow. I, 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 yeah. Well, let's uh, let's take our last break and let's, let's figure out where these last where 10 go minutes are going to go. So uh, we'll be back right after this. Well, we're having so much fun. Martin has left. I broke a microphone into two pieces. Which you'll have to pay for. <laughs> Which I yes. will pay for. And Martin went and swapped seats. Ain't Ann Ain't. is in the house. That's it. <laughs> my sister, my one and only sister. Yep. Just and the wasn't, two of us. wasn't it true that I was allergic to physical work? Oh, very definitely from an early age. She was our princess and did all the entertaining while I, while I worked at the store. She worked her butt off. No, no, that's what we've been told, that you was the one that actually really run the store. Oh, well, I don't know about running it, but I, she I sure worked, worked her butt off for a lot of years. That is, well, and she hasn't been in here, so she didn't know that's what we already talked. Kay's admitted she's a allergic to physical aid. Oh, she always admits it because she knows it's true. <laughs> she does. So was there really, did she just sit outside on the pony? No, no. in the store, I sit over there where the heater was, talking to all the old women, tell them, ma'am. She entertained them. She had all these stories that she sort of made uh, up. Yeah, made up they as she like went along. Is. No wonder she fit in good, good with stores. the Robertsons. That's right, see? Yeah. No wonder I fell in love with uh, Phil. Now, he, on the other hand, was a hard worker. Because remember, all the boys had to work on the oil field, on the oil rig with your daddy, right? So, well, except me. Except yeah. you. You know why uh, you were too skinny? Well, no, no, cause it, and it was too dangerous. They tried, they tried me and told me, okay, you want to work in the derrick, which is the top of the rig. Uh -huh. You know, are you going to work down here, you know, with all the other guys? So I tried it. No. Well, I, I, I don't I know. Don't they all in... had to work to provide food. What did you do? Just steal food or well, something? Well, no, no. I worked in the hay field. They went to the oil field, you know, filling them. So they I, didn't ended have up, a I ended up taking their job in the hay field. Well, I think, though, that they didn't have a choice. Well, no, no. Yeah, it, you know. Well, we well, was, all, was Tommy the Derrick man? Huh? Didn't he go to the top? Well, Tommy may have done that. I didn't do it. I didn't like it. anything where it's, it's slippery. I don't want to be up high. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, it's my so, understanding. No. Everything about that oil rig was dangerous. No, no, it is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, no. So all all field work. Not only that. That was like you. Okay. That's okay. way too much physical labor. <laughs> Okay, it's I all it's men, all about using your muscles. I knew me and I had a lot in common. I didn't yeah. know that. Much. That is true. So I I have a question for Ain Ann on that. What what did you think when she started hanging out with Phil and Cy of these <laughs> jokers? <laughs> well, I was too interested in my own love life to worry about her. Okay, oh, you so go. you weren't worried about all the well, Roberts and Miss. Plus, see now she's eight years younger than me. Okay, so see she all was, I was to her as a kid was a brat. That stole her stuff. <laughs> a pest who got, as I found out later, when I would leave the house, she would get in my closet, wear all my shoes, and... Well, I'm getting your drawers, all your drawers, check them out. <laughs> and and the funniest thing I remember doing when she come home on a date oh, and was yes. kissing her boyfriend goodbye, I got a spotlight. Uh huh. I got a spotlight and shined it. Shined and, then, it. and then she would run and tell mom and dad yep. on me. What? what? Now you wonder why I didn't like her when she was little? <laughs> hey, now I understand the little princess deal here. Oh, yes. Yes. Very much. Oh. But I wasn't ugly. I was, I, I, you were, I was a likable brat. 
<laughs> you were a likable brat. Likable brat, and, yeah. And says, well, maybe. Well, that's, you know, it's a matter of opinion. No, yeah, I yeah. think yeah. it's because okay. I opinion. stayed with my grandma uh-huh. so much, and she was quiet and kind, and, you know, she was just like Aunt B. Yeah. On Gra- Andy Griffith. <laughs> she did remind me of her. I never thought of that. Yeah. And so I stayed with her, and she ne- I never heard her holler in my life. Never. She never raised her voice. Never raised her voice. No, I told him she's the sweetest grandmother I've I've ever known. Oh, she was very different. always oh. cooking. And you walked in, and her, the food. The whole town, okay, all, you know, never never an unkind word toward Nanny. Mm-hmm. No, no, not Nanny. No. Uh-uh. So Kay spent all her time up there okay. playing and. Yeah. Learning yeah. how to cook and you know what I get. This boy <laughs> called me when I was in the eighth grade. Don't and and I was like I was a child. Like I wasn't even thinking. You know, being a teenager, nothing. I was kind of behind that way. And he called to see if I wanted to meet him at the bowling alley. And I was like, really? Like you called to ask me to meet you at the bowling alley? <laughs> and I I was and at the time I was playing paper dolls. Oh, yeah. I had all my paper dolls spread out. And then I said, well, I'll check and see if I can. I'll call you back. So I went in there, and I gra- grabbed all those paper dolls and put them in a box. And I said, w- I don't want these anymore. And then I told my grandmother, get rid of them. And then I told my grandma, I said, don't get rid of them. Just hide them in the closet. <laughs> she said, okay. Okay, and back to your love life. Oh. <laughs> How did you end up in Texas? Well, see, I went to Northwestern. And I met my husband there. Oh, okay. And in Natchitoches. I, yeah, Natchitoches, okay. Louisiana. Yeah. And I went, uh, oh, three and a half years. Well, he was going in the Army and moving. So I wasn't going to be left behind. So I quit college after three and a half years and followed him. That was dumb. You could have this such a need. I had a college. <laughs> oh, okay, here's the deal. What was you majoring in? Business. Business? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, business education, only because our dad insisted that that was the best job for a woman. Okay. I didn't want to teach, okay. never wanted to teach, but I had to major in business education. Okay. But I never used that because I always just did, I was a secretary. So I didn't know your husband, what was his name again? Wade. Wade? Wade. Yeah. Okay, he was a military man. Then. Yeah, he was going straight into the military, okay. so I, we got married and moved to Augusta, Georgia. Any children? Yeah, we have two, okay. two girls. Okay. Well, we did. I lost my oldest, but okay. I still have one left. Okay. Yeah. yeah and so well, that, how long did Wade stay in, in the military? Uh, I think four years. He wanted. He had always planned on making it a career, but every time he had applied, they had, and he was military police. Okay. And they would say, "Welcome to the eighty second Airborne." Okay. He, he was said, airborne too. Okay. No, he didn't want airborne, oh. and he okay. refused. So he tried it again, and they same thing. Welcome to eighty second Airborne, and he said, "Well, bye." <laughs> so they was trying to make him go they were airborne. Trying to make him go airborne. Okay. And he didn't want it. So then he went from that, and we ended up in the oil field for thirty years. Oh, okay. So that's how I ended up in Texas. Okay. <laughs> that's where all the money is, boys. Oh, well, there it is. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> I thought all the money was at Caraway General Store. Well, it was in that town. <laughs> yeah. We only, were rich. Only, we? Yeah, we were. <laughs> we were the richest people in town, I think. <laughs> well, you got to realize a town of 100 people, you know, and, and <laughs> the only store. <laughs> yeah, it, it don't take much it to be rich in much. a small town. I like town. a monopoly. Yeah. I like a monopoly. But they had good entertainment oh. at that store. Well, and one hard worker and a little and, entertainment and on a little the side. entertainment. Oh. Well, a business degree, you learn more at a at a store like that probably growing up than you could have in college. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wasn't really interested. Like I say, all I wanted to do was be a secretary, and that's what I ended up. All right. Being, I didn't so. even know how to run the cash register. She didn't want to either. Right. Nope. So. No desire. But I knew you had to go back there and get me some Wilson Winnie's and cheese. Yeah, you did that. <laughs> I lived off of that. <laughs> no, baloney was so fresh. And you learned how to entertain and cook. Yep. And look at you now. Yep. I'm still cooking. <laughs> and, and still I entertaining. entertaining, still too. entertaining. <laughs> and entertaining too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I you know what I wanted to I wanted to marry a hunter and a fisherman. Because our that. daddy did that. Mm-hmm. And I got that too. 
but he was kind of a rotten egg for about 10 years. Hey, Nan, I, I got one more question for you. Okay. Do you see the script up on the screen? Do you remember that oh, horse? Oh, yes, that's Tony. Tony the Pony. Yep, that, that was Kay's pony. horse. And he never, he was always tied up, you know, never loose. And mm -hmm. she would just ride that horse with her cowboy hat on and just play like she was riding it. Forever. I was Annie Oakley. <laughs> yep, Annie know. Oakley, yeah. Speaking of Annie Oakley. Oh, there she is there with she her is. hat. Yep, yep. That's me. And How'd y'all get them pictures, man? I'm a man of a particular set of skills, Miss <laughs> Kay. I see it now. Uh, see, see, she pretended. She had Tony, and she pretended, but I ended up, and I was the one that actually had horses and rode. She, yeah, and tell them what you nearly killed me oh, doing. I did. I was supposed to be babysitting her one day. And I wanted to go riding, and I had strictly been told no, as long as yeah, as long as you're okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. she raced. She didn't just ride; she raced the stupid horse. Yeah, we were wide open out in the field, and the horse she stumbled. She thought we were at the Kentucky Derby, <laughs> and I said, "You're gonna kill me! You're gonna kill me!" And I, I just about did. The horse stumbled, and we went over the. Oh my word! Yeah, my and, nose and, bled for an hour. Oh, did so, I get in so, trouble for that? And, yeah. and she told me, she said, I'll kill you. she egged it you. on, see. And she said, mama. I'll kill you if you tell mama. And she walked in the door, and I said, Ann tried to kill me today. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. So that you just went straight on to tattletale yeah. mode. Yep, exactly. Always. Always. Anything, Always. Yeah, anything she could tattle on me for, she would do it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, we're running out. Of yeah. I wish we had another episode. Ain't hey, Ann, you are welcome in this room with Miss Kay anytime. Thank you very this much. And you know so... I love to do it. Oh, this Thanksgiving episode 2022, easily one of my favorites ever. I'm going to send us out of here with a Bible verse. 1 Thessalonians 5.18, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. I hope your Thanksgiving table is as much fun as this room was today. Martin's been over here cracking up, laughing to the side. <laughs> Miss K, Ain't Ann, thank you for being here. We'll catch y'all next time. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Bye. Been a pleasure. <laughs>